Hello everyone and welcome to Witches of the Moon. My name is Jen and this week I'm your Friday hostess. So when things get back to normal, I'll be back to doing Sundays, but for now I am filling in for Isabel who's having some trouble with her internet. And so I'm going to be talking about numerology today. So witches are our week's, this week's topic is numerology. And if you haven't gone back and watched the other videos, I would suggest that you do that. There's a lot of great information there. Um, as you know from, um, if you've watched Natalie's video, you will know that um, the alphabet goes from 1 to 9. And um, she actually walks you through, using her own name, how you can connect the dot, you know, add the numbers up and break it down into a single digit. And um, so, yeah, you can kind of go from there. And then, you know, there's talk of, of master numbers, which is 11, 22, and 33. Um, so there's that. Those numbers don't break down. You know, numerology is used for a lot of different things. Um, just like, you know, Natalie had said, some people use it to know when they're going to open their business or create their business or whatever. And, you know, um, you know, you can use it for a lot of different other things, for spell work and, and everything else. What I like to use numerology for, um, especially as a medium, is connecting people to their loved ones. So when I do readings for people, a lot of times I will get numbers. And um, I may get the number three, and it could be the third of the month, it could be the third month, or it could be one of three. And by one of three, that means it's one of three children that's in your life, or you have one of three siblings. Um, and that's basically what that's around. Um, so for instance, in my case, when I see 1111, I know that means that my mom is around and she's just saying hi and normally I just say hey and then I go on about my day. So in my case when I look at numerology I look at it at it from a different perspective at times. Just depends on what I'm doing. So if somebody comes to me and they're saying hey Jen I'm seeing a lot of nines what does that mean? Um, number nine is an indication of things that are ending. Like you're going to be finishing up things. You're going to be either um, finishing up projects that you've done. You're ending a relationship. Um, you know, the lease that you're in is going to end and you're going to be moving. So in the same way with, with when somebody comes to me and says, hey, what does number one mean? I'm seeing this a lot. Well, number one indicates that new things are going to be opening up. You're going to be starting new projects, new job, new home. You know, there's a lot of things that are coming in that is, that pertains to that newness, that beginning, the beginning. Um, so if you're seeing ones and nines, you're going to have endings and you're going to have beginnings. You know, um, think about it this way. When things leave your life, it's making room for things to come into your life. And that's always a great thing. So that's kind of how I look at numerology. Numerology is also good for your personality and for your life path and everything else. It kind of indicates, it kind of is um, an indication of what your interests are in life and where you're going to struggle, um, you know, what days are important to you and so on and so forth. So numerology is really fun to dive into. So some books that you might be interested in. Um, this book, Glennis McCants. Um, I have not had a chance to read this one. Um, but she is a really good numerologist. Um, I know um, my friend Deborah Jacobs actually recommended her book to me Um quite a few years ago when we were doing Your Life Matters and we were going to have her on our show but it never quite panned out to where we could have her on our show but um, it was quite interesting. And this is actually the book that we were going to be talking about. So I actually got this sent to me. I did not purchase this book. This was something that was sent to me um, a long time ago actually when, well, like I said, when we were doing um, your Life Matters, and that was clear back in 2009. So, um, another book that you might want to check out is this one, The Numerology Guidebook. And um, it's really good about helping you figure out different things in your life. And Michael Brill 
this one right here. I love this book. I've actually interviewed him. I'm friends with him on Facebook. He was actually on our show, um, Your Life Matters. So um, he actually sent me his book. And it talks about a lot of different things. A lot of um, diseases and just a lot of different things. I mean, just check this out. And then I have, and I haven't read this book. Um, but I will be reading it and then I can let you know what it is, what I think about it. Numerology Magic. So, um, I got the second hand and, um, I haven't had it that long, but, um, but again, I'll let you know what I think about this book when I finish it. So anyways, that's really how what I have to say about numerology. I use it in a little bit of a different manner. Um, this is something that I will be offering on my website at some point because I have taken numerology classes and I rather enjoy it. So anyways, that's what I have this week and I will see you next week in the next video for the next topic. Have a great weekend. Bye.